Hey everyone! Welcome to 601 Travels. We've already told you why York, Pennsylvania is a great place in another video, but in this one, we're going to tell you why you should think twice about settling down here and calling it home. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. Make sure you smash that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload. Here's our list of the top 10 reasons you should not move to York, Pennsylvania. Number 10. Blighted Downtown York is just like any other city. Historic buildings, hanging plants, quite nice to look at. Take a turn in any direction out of that area and you're in another world. You'll be surrounded by urban decay in the form of abandoned houses, factories, warehouses, and eyesores. The city never took the initiative to keep up with making sure things were kept in order and what you see now is the neglect of many years gone by. This blight affects the city by keeping people from moving in, bringing down home values, and giving an overall dirty feel to the city. Number 9. Education System The school system in York is broken. If you have children, you're better off homeschooling or teaching them through YouTube tutorials. Altogether, there are 38 public schools in York, and some are better than others, but they're all well below the national average when it comes to test scores. Only 71% of students wind up graduating from high school. There is a 16 to 1 ratio from teachers to students, so you'd think the results would be better, but they aren't. Many students drop out and live the street life in York. Number 8. Weather the weather in York can be described as confused. There are a lot of cloudy days, so many cloudy days, depressing days. You can expect 42 inches of rain every year. The summers are warm and humid and the winters are very cold and snowy, averaging about 23 inches of snow per year. It's either really hot and miserable or really cold and miserable and plus add snow. There's no happy place in the middle. Make sure you have plenty of sweaters and t-shirts in your closet to accommodate the weather. Number 7. PennDOT To go along with the weather problems, PennDOT doesn't really seem to care whether there's been a snow or ice storm. The roads, especially Route 30, will remain in a state of panic for many hours after the last flake has fallen. There are a ton of accidents on the roadways of York during the winter because of how long it takes the roads to get cleared. People have no choice but to get to work and if that means driving in a foot of snow, they will attempt it. Number 6. Congestion Route 30 and Highway 83 are the main means of commuting through York and a lot of people drive both of them in and out of town for work. During weekday mornings and evenings, you'll expect a ton of traffic. Commuters use 83 to travel to Baltimore and Harrisburg and clog the highway daily. The average commute time for people living in the city is close to 24 minutes on a good day with no accidents or unexpected events. Factoring in time for congestion through the city will impact your plans and should be taken into account. Number 5. Crime York isn't the most crime-ridden city in the country by any means, but it is dangerous for sure, especially for violent crimes. There you have a 1 in 36 chance of becoming a victim of a crime because compared to the rest of the country, the risk of violent crimes is 32% higher. Home break-ins, car break-ins, thefts, and identity fraud are always occurring there as well. Police presence and activity in the city happens often and despite their best efforts, York is still full of crime. You may feel safe walking downtown, but the minute you're not downtown, you will notice that you are not safe. Number 4. Row Houses If single family dwellings are your thing, then you won't like York. They do exist, but they are expensive, around an average of $200,000. A long time ago, developers realized that they could cram in a ton of row houses in small places and make a lot more money. 
Today, the row houses are crime ridden and are affordable because no one wants to buy and live in them due to fear. York is full of row houses, streets upon streets of row houses. Everywhere you look, you'll see row houses. They offer little to no yards, off street parallel parking, and long, narrow rooms. Most have creepy AF basements with dirt floors. Don't expect to have any kind of privacy or security if you live on a street named something like Princess or Queen. Number three, selling a car. This is more of an inconvenience that makes York suck just a little bit more. In order to legally sell a car, both parties, the buyer and seller, have to go and sign over the title in the presence of a notary. Now there are notary services scattered all over the city, but it's still a pain to have to go plan a time, go somewhere and sign and, and do the transaction, opposed to doing it the old fashioned way when you can do it whenever and wherever you'd like. Number two, property taxes. The property taxes in York are among some of the highest in the state at 1.92%. You may be able to find houses for under 200,000, but if you live in this city, you're going to pay for it at the end of the year. To put it into perspective, on a $175,000 home, you're still going to spend close to $3,000 in taxes alone. A decent house in York will be in the three dollars to $400,000 range, so you can see how that could quickly add up to seven dollars or $8,000. Compared to other parts of the country, this may not seem too much, but what you get in York for the money is not worth it. You can get a bigger house, cheaper, with less taxes somewhere else. Number one, not friendly. Depending on where you go to visit or live in York, you are bound to run into a lot of unfriendly people. It doesn't have that familiar, friendly feel that many other cities of its size have to offer. Drivers are uncourteous and neighborhoods are the kind of place where if your Amazon delivery gets delivered to the wrong address, you'll never see it. People generally never make eye contact or say hello, hold doors open, or even say thank you when you make a purchase at a Circle K. They also don't really care for people moving into the area if you aren't from there and don't make any effort to be inviting. Alright everyone, that'll do it for today's video. Do you live in or love York? Maybe you hate it. While you're still here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.